Internet, hello. First up, I would love to give shout-outs because a minute before the stream started, uh, I want to get this in the VOD. Uh, thank you, Pike's Peak Audio, for a donation for uh, for the move. It was a pretty sizable one of uh, 500. Thank you so much. Saying, for the move, because that process is always a pain. First found out through your 15 cage uh, reveal reaction over a decade ago. Have a blessed Easter, and may the peace of Christ be with you. You know, we are big friends of the channel for uh, prayers from Abigail. Thank you very much. And people thought I wasn't good. And people thought I was going to hell. I think this donation disagrees. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, given that uh, uh, a lot of extra charges keep coming in. <laughs> Every single time I start doing the prep for this big move we're doing. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, I, I got the internet uh, scheduled. What now? Just various things you don't think you have to buy. Like certain packaging or like... Oh shit, I should get like toiletry set up and... And like, you know... And I and I finally got replacement desks. Like I I, I saw that they were actually on clearance, so we're so I got those. Um, it's just various shit like that that you have to like get to get ready. Don't worry, it's not hyper dire. I would have come back and maybe made an event out of it, but it's not. It's it's nothing like that. But it's definitely like an ooh. This this kind of dulls dulls it quite a bit. Anyway, more importantly. <laughs> oh man oh man i don't know if you guys heard we got an updated design for uh for uh alto's uh alto's dia the person who updated it for them uh, uh also made this so this can just hang out here now pretty solid Now that we, uh, so, so that can sit there. Uh, what else? <laughs> hold on, hold on, before I do that, before I do that, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a shot right here, and I'm gonna screenshot this, and then I'm gonna tweet it, and then they're just gonna see that shit and go, oh, oh. <laughs> Stream off to a great start, and that'll just pop that in there. Hell yeah, dude. So anyway, uh, good to see everybody. I haven't been able to stream since, uh, who knows when the last stream was. Uh, because I don't. But we did that. Pretty good. Uh, we hit the goal last time. Very much appreciate that. And, uh, then I started resting a little bit. And uh, then I started the, the moving process, or at least throwing shit away and cleaning things up and packing stuff away. Did we get a winner for the Patreon poll? We did. The winner was Dragon Quest Eight. So I will be doing that uh, in April uh, at some point. Well, at the very least, we'll be starting it in April, I imagine. Let me see here. Uh, let me do due diligence and check. I'm pretty sure it won. I'm like 99% sure that shit won. Uh, let me just log in here. Log in to the Patreon.com. We'll get Blue Dragon one day. Blue Dragon fucking got an Xbox like thing today. There's like an Xbox dashboard like update because to to uh, uh, in remembrance. Of Akira Toriyama. Oh, the, oh, these motherfuckers suck. Are you kidding me? Patreon's making me, uh... It's making me fucking reset my password. They're like, it's been a minute. Can you just do that? And I'm like, come on, man. You're gonna make me jump through eight hoops before we start playing Stellar Blade today? Here we go. I'm, I'm, ba I'm in now. Mark. Do 
Was the winner actually Dragon Quest? Pretty sure it was. Yes, it was. Uh, in the end, after 54 votes, uh, one with 43%, followed by Chrono Trigger 33%, and then Blue Dragon dead last at 24%. So, pretty good. Got that. Got that all set up. I'm here to check this game out. Because it looked like a really cool, interesting action game. And Sony was backing it, which was nice to see someone back a game that looked like my general aesthetic and vibes and stuff. And then people were like, he's got butt. And then I saw some other people uh, going, it, it's actually problematic that it has an ass. And I'm like, I must now support it. People found out how to be annoying about it. So we got to cut through that noise and give this a, give this a look. Is that Alta's updated Persona's Brian Griffin again? Yes. Made by the exact same person who worked to redesign it with Alto. As a well-invested player into shift-ups, gotcha game, Nike, Stellar Blade, looking to uh, like to take a similar concept to Nike and combine it with Nier Automata Combat, so I have high hopes for it. Okay. That's interesting. Also, long time no see, Fidel. Good to see you. Yeah, Star Venus did the, the, the updated design and then just made this bomb. I'm glad that they keep them as my stream exclusives. My previous statement of we got to play this to, uh, to actually get some of the content is I saw some people going, you know. The anti-woke crowd is liking this game a little too much. I'm like, calm down, guys. She just got a butt. From Alto. <laughs> Fuck you. That to have a confirmed racist again. Star Venus is a terrorist. They literally came into the stream and said, finally a stream so I can post this. And I'm like, oh yeah, baby! Really, the double-edged sword in choosing them, I guess, to uh, help you with that. I paid to move away from that. You know what's really funny? It's I had uh, I had Zoro Fat make the original version of this right before my Kingdom Hearts marathon was gonna start, and now we have this before my next Kingdom Hearts marathon will start. <laughs> the cycle of pain never ends. Now I'm imagining I get someone to redraw the Alto Lookout to part of Moat to be the new one, and then I, I replace the current one. <laughs> Updated to have the new nose. <laughs> no longer has, like, the suit and tie like the Nostalgia Critic. I'm doing the marathon in July. We're going to do it July 13th because 7-13. Okay. Well, we tried. T Hello. If you're right. I'm about to say something heinous. That is the stream. Is Do I have permission? Go ahead. Take my hand. Please take me out of the fluid. Okay, I'm dry now. Since her name is Eve, does that make her ass the Garden of Eden? And you're about to about to eat that ass out, I guess. Uh, I'm good. Alright, let's see. I set this to performance priority mode. Also, I made the subs and the UI a bit bigger. 
see how this how this goes. All right, we got a light and a strong attack. All right, lock ons on the on our 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 three as always. Alright, so far this looks pretty cool. Some nice action coming up right off the jump. I hope the audio sounds good. Uh, that sh this shit broke when I was getting some other stuff uh, moved around in here. Had to had to re reset everything. Voices are a bit quiet. That might be on the game. Looking at the looking at. It. I might be able to up it. Let's see. As your romp through Dragon Quest 2. I'm gonna wait until we're like in a quiet point here, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some I'm gonna say some shit about Dragon Quest in a bit. I have some, I have some words. Perfect parry right before getting hit. Ooh. Watch out! There's more. Oh good lord! <laughs> Whoa, we totally got that shit. Hold and do that do a beta skill. When you hit an enemy or parry an attack, a beta energy is charged. Dude, normal internet lexicon, you should not be calling that beta energy. Are you all right, Luke? Typical defensive betas. Body frame. Take this. It's first aid. Yeah, Nick, you really fucked me up by sending me the fucking backlit GBA and a set of cartridges, and I'm like, oh shit, Dragon Quest is in here. I guess I could pop this in. You've caused me some some issues. A hole to rush. I kind of like how they flop. Is Dragon Quest 3 in there too? Yes. A beta skill on triangle. Okay, it's like a spin attack. Combat in this looks heavy. It's got, it's got a bit of heft to it. Let me check. And this, let me look at these menus here. Someone said the voices are a bit low. I can fix that. There we go. That might that might make it a bit clearer for you guys. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. This way. Watch out for Gardner's interception. Don't stop. Keep moving, E. Always jump scared by British accents. It... I, I, wow, those things actually do hurt you. Shit. Um. I was thinking about that tweet that says, it's so horrible that British parents make their chi children also do the accent. <laughs> Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. They ensure her ass always stays on the screen when you move the camera. Yeah, I saw that there's a mode where you can make her almost essentially naked, but then you have zero defense. <laughs> Gooner, study the blade. Bed mode, yeah. Oh, my God. No. No. Fucks, we can't get the Japanese voice, but there is Korean oh, voices. So well, to be fair, you know, this game is left. Korean. Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Do you think Azora used four Thank swords? He'd keep the fourth between his ass cheeks. Listen to me. There's probably art of that, so we sure. Completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. 
Understand? Yeah. I got I like all the shit printed on like her side leg there, like she's a race car. Oh shit, I think a boss in Neo is like this. Brute. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the kind of swing I was kind of expecting. What's that? Is that KZ missing every opportunity? Yeah, that's right. That's right, baby. Miss every fucking parry. Alright, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> they had to end that directly so that her ass is like right there. They're like, ensure that she lands dead center, please. I believe that I believe they said, uh, they're like, yes, we you know, we've made a beautiful woman, and that was one of our main goals. I saw Yoko Tara say he was going to pre order this game. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you alright? Uh, no, no, I, I, uh, I got hit with an IED or something. Bird. Cool, man. Here, friend. Humor is actually made by the Nikkei devs. Yeah. Yeah, people were, like, going cra uh, I guess there was news, like, this company was going public soon. People were like, that's crazy. Their game isn't even out. And they're like, uh, uh, they also, they also made Nikkei, the fucking, that insanely popular game. I don't think she's going to be in Stellar Blade 2. Eve. Get out of here. Ducky! I should actually download the demo while watching. Yeah, apparently this shit is a save carryover too. At least that's what I saw people saying. Does that make her a fraud? No, nah, more like a tragedy. They didn't spend much time hyping her up. Frauds are usually when there's like some lip service made to a character being like really strong and then they do not perform. That's why everyone makes fun of Mihawk in One Piece. You you watch you read the first like part of that story, right? So, make sure to stay. And he's like, he's hyped up like pretty hard. Where the Alpha and AT so is Luna Freya a fraud? Not necessarily. She's good at what her actual job is. His name is Adam, and her name is Eve. What could they be meaning? By this. <laughs> it's like when a visual novel starts talking about Schrodinger's Get ready. Schrodinger's cat box. The, the puppet strings. When did Mihawk lose? 
I don't know, just there's some some language and things that are making people think that they may not may not be very good. We'll see though. We'll see though. Yes. People have been making fun of that dude for the past two years, so I can only assume he's getting close. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. Hey, Quigsies. Appreciate it. The Earth's rain. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. Okay. All right. So at the very least, our robot isn't just the robot. It's actually the dude from from the ship that he's like communicating to the little guy. Payphones are fast travel. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. All right. Like that. Hold option button to view. Uh, they definitely got some uh, enemy variants here. That's for sure. Do not care about your lore. We're just here to check this shit out. Falling debris. Be careful, Lee. Something is coming. The Corsetians might find it. They're coming. Okay, yeah, that 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 sweep, the heavy, feels pretty damn good. I love I love breaking breaking petrified things. I'm all about it. They got that they got that the screen gets wet in the rain effect. Passcode that. There's an encrypted code in the memory stick. It's a security code, a type of entry permit. Oh, but eh, eh, eh. there we go. The Beepity boop bop. There it is. I was like, hold up, help me out. I found it already. Alpha. Uh. 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 It worked. Yeah, it's kind of got some of that like Hamauzu style music to it a little bit. I can I can see people kind of drawing a bit of a similarity there. I don't engage with any of Shift Up's games, so I, it's all new to me. I gotta make sure to always lock on. I'm always bad about that in games. There's a Legion camp in a place like this. Put down to chairs and camps to recover HP, refill the rechargeable tumbler. Short items will be retrieved. Some enemy some enemies will be revived. Using vending machine to purchase items, learn and train skills through the kiosk. Ah, oh, it's cute. There's a little flip before putting the coin in. 60% their in-house music, 40% the guy I did in here. Ah, oh, okay. That works. Perfect Energy is the brand here. I have no money, so there's no need to do that. Skill settings. Here we go. We. I love me some skill trees. You can learn a new skill. Perfect dodge. Here we go. Perfectly evade enemy attacks upon a successful perfect dodge. Hit triangle to perform an additional attack. Uh, a successful perf perfect dodge charges burst energy. Okay, there's like a little red effect whenever you uh whenever you hit that shit. They got Cosmograph, their main composer, working on What's wrong? some of the music. 
Resident Stealth Boy is gonna have some great bangers. Yeah, already the soundtrack is very pleasing. Uh, it's nothing. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Have to go to the torture chamber tonight and 100% cactuar rush for the trophies. Don't worry, you got this. I I did it. And I'm not. I, I you know, I don't. I don't pretend to be very good. You got this. Up on up on the D pad. Yeah, yeah. Up on D pad. It's gonna be your heal. Hold on, let's wait for him. Okay, nope, nope, and nope, and no. There it is. It's a bit weird, because I'll, like, hit the button instinctively as I see it about to do a swipe, and that's already, like, too late. I have to get on whatever the game's good dodge wavelength is beyond, like, spamming it. Okay, cool, cool cyber car. Hold up, what is that? Okay. Why can't we pick up the green stuff? Is that R2? Oh, there we go, we got it. It's some money. Oh. It's one of the Legion's old supply boxes. Do you think this oh, good. They understand that I really well, appreciate. Ah, so ah, uh, uh, it's a hold. Okay, you can hold the pick shit up. I like whenever things explode out of an item like that. Press up to use a potion. Hold to select the desired one. Make sure to take everything. Continuously restores. Instantly restores a lot. Instantly restores. Ah, uh, it's a highly concentrated one. All right. Oh, nice. Good animation on it, too. Abe, be careful. You see the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, let's go. We're just riding. Enemies maintain stance with balance. You can knock enemies off balance with perfect parries. They become groggy. Use retribution to deal. Oh, okay, then do triangle for a takedown. There we go. Yeah, that's a shiny ass. Oh, yeah, it is. From the, uh, from the Korean devs that's biggest, uh, they're the biggest fan of, uh, of the ass, I guess. What the fuck is this? Ooh, I do not like you. Okay, we got a good parry off that. That's my homie, Dakarabia. Hell yeah, dude. Gear. Okay, you can equip it in gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. Combo attack enhancement. Combo to attack power level 2 or higher, up 14%. Okay, it's got it's got those things in it. Alright. Q. 
keep on looking around. Scan. Are other cities in a similar state? By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. Uh, there's a crate up there. A hold up. Are these like handholds? Excuse me. Is that paint? Us super gamers are about to make some statements. <laughs> I love how people were like, check out this really good fucking stellar blade, like, ass gif. And then so, because <laughs> she's climbing a ladder and it's right up her fucking anus and gooter. And then someone just goes, is that a yellow ladder? <laughs> huh? Wait, there's a fusion cell. Oh, surprise. At least the fusion cell's intact. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. The game is sexist, not as sexist. Sure. Another two weeks of yellow paint discourse. Sure. Honestly, probably better. I'll take that fourth road over the other three additional uh, alternative roads of. This game is based because it has ass. It's a trap. Versus, I don't like that she has an ass, or I don't like that people that are against woke like this. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll take the yellow paint. <laughs> Attack the drum? Okay, sure. Woo! We fucking perfect dodged into that shit. Oh boy. Sorry, I got scared. Right, I'm not used to the cooldowns also being tied to L1. I keep instinctively doing R1 for them. Okay, that hold gap closer is pretty good. Hold up. I see. It's uh, it's the cooldown that's right above your main four on the right side. So now that it's up, there we go. All right, that's fair. What's up, dude? I do get the ass discussion, yeah. But after like a few minutes, I'm like, oh, okay. Aside from some funny cutscene shots, I'm mostly... My eyes are on the enemies. That's why I described my stream in the promo tweet that I'm here for the action and the gameplay, much in the way that people, you know, read sexy magazines for the articles. Uh, okay. Ye yellow must be dodged. Understood. Alright, give me the lifestone, please. It's hard to stare at ass and not die at the same time. Yep. I'm just like, oh, they made a... They made a character action game with cool sword stuff and parries and perfect dodges I'm like I'm 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 in all right You had me at that Tricking gooners into playing a good game truly near automata inspired and I'm like yeah and this this one will have more than 3 enemy types and 2 boss types so we're we're really in on this one One of these days, I'll say that shit, which I will say all the time, and someone will actually get mad. Eve is tame. 
Yeah, they had to make it more woke for the uh, for the mainstream audience. You have to cross here. I have seen gifs of that game. I now remember which one that is. I can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plank. Oh. Oh, hold on. Let's see, is there a... Do I have an in from down here? No, it looks like that's all still gated. Oh, wait, no, no, there's a hole. There's a hole, there we go. What do we got this? Definitely playing this in Korean. Oh, yeah, when you see, when you see like, a high-octane... Korean action game like this. The last thing I'm expecting is fucking bitch from London. So I, I get some people going, I gotta get out of here. Okay, we can't, we can't seem to hit that. I don't know if we can, like, jump to that or not. Yeah, I'm wondering, do I have to push the plank? That seems a little too Half-Life 2 for this game, but sure. Oh my god, there there's a literal pushing animation. Huh, alright. Fine then, alright. I wasn't familiar with your game, Stellar Blade. Thank you, Crimson Helm, by the way, appreciate it. The Nietzschean pro-sex pro-beauty large butt woman. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking really on the cusp of something here. Thank you, Aaron Lime, for gifting a sub. Appreciate it. Activate the thing. Let's get it, get it, go. And alrighty. Uh, skill settings. What we got? Execute enemy from behind can only be used on enemies that aren't in combat. Recharge is more beta when the Yeah, I'm gonna want that. I'm really I'm significantly, significantly worse at stealth kills in any game, so might as well. Oh, they got like oh you can change tracks. How far how's this game so far? It seems pretty good. Honestly. Stellar jokes aside, like Hmm. It's got all the action game stuff you kind of expect from from this type of game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of those soulful 8 out of 10s. They're, they already showed some cool stuff in, like, trailers and stuff. They showed, like, grinding on your sword through, like, really long, like, narrow sections and cool shit like that. Which I'm all about, so... Decent amount of enemy variety, too, so. It's okay, I'm learning the different swings. Oh god, that's a, like a double. Ah, blues are grabs. Alright, cool. Alright, we got that. Okay, Casey, just do something else. Hey! There we go. Barnacle. Thick, thick shells amongst other... Okay. They can render all attacks from the front useless when they lift their shell-covered legs. Okay. Okay, that's pretty...
Alright. Uh, I did rest of the thing, right? Don't I have like? Okay, yeah, all, all of all the regular heals are back. Okay, I'm not I'm not completely ruined. Hold on, what did Fatty Dragon post in here? See what, see what we got. <laughs> oh shit. This immediately replied all. There we go. Alright, let's go. Update the emote. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Shield. What if this game will pack the Bechdel test? <laughs> Easily. Uh, i never forget one of my favorite Jason tweets of all time saying, Senran Kagura passes the Bechdel test. <laughs> I think I watched, like, uh, like a random, like, YouTuber, like, film... They, they were, like, discussing some mainstream film or whatever, and they were, like, going to go through it for a review. And one of them was like, here's some points that came out here. It came out, uh, you know, here's some information on the director, some recent films. And they went, also, this film passes the Bechdel test. And I'm like, this is 2024. <laughs> we can't be doing this. We can't be, like, pretending this is, like, a real barometer. For anything. Uh, Eve has a shield. Eve has damage reduction while active. The damage reduction increases. The shield protection level increases. The protection level decreases each time the shield takes the amount of damage. Some enemies are also protected by a shield. Uh, okay. Yeah, this game's already winning off soundtrack. Like, this, this has some sauce. Ah, oh, shit, that's, yeah, that's, that's a bit of, a bit of a, like, a delay grab. I definitely needed to make more distance there. Uh, okay, you can hit them out of it before they actually go for the grab, it looks like. Yeah, combat's definitely gonna get some, something taken. Takes some getting used to. I would not imagine that some that some people will find some parts of this very hard to play, entirely based on the fact that it, uh, what it color codes for is not what you're used to. I think blue being the color that denotes uh, that you're about to get grabbed, and yellow is for unblockables. It feels like they should be harsher colors in those cases. And I can see some people getting tripped up by that. Adam, what is this? A map? Don't you know this already? It's a map. A map? How do you synchronize the location on the map? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yellow for grab, red for unblockable is kind of what I would expect. But, but also, red, red in this denotes whenever I, uh, do a perfect dodge. Ooh, shit. Oh, shit, we, we, we got some stuff. Yeah, yeah, I would probably change the color, but hey. Hey, maybe they maybe I maybe I shouldn't be harsh in that way and be like, hey, they should be free to choose what their colors are. Uniform colors is how we got uh 18 million Western AAA games that got well, purple items mean they're epic. Uh orange means they're legendary.
Imagine knowing that. I'm sorry. I played Hearthstone. <laughs> like, like, pretty, pretty deeply. Is you're bleeding out a bit. That's just me all the time. Rest assured, I'm always doing that. Anyway, hi Prowler. Welcome to the stream. I give you a kiss. The crack is quite deep. It's mm. going to be difficult to pass. We'll have to go across. Pass I played WoW once. Time. It was on a private server because a friend was into it. We played for like three hours. That was it. Is that an Australian? I guess. I don't know. They're like British or whatever. British 2? God. How'd they get greenlit for a sequel? Yeah! Alright. Oh! Whoop! I just need one more hit, dude. Just one more. Just one more hit, man. Right. Fuck yeah, girl. Just fucking do it, alright? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like a feminist or something after that one. <laughs> Did this to a guy outside of Bojangles and he died. Hell yeah. We love locations that have their own barcode. I actually probably would have gotten a couple of streams in recently despite my uh, moving prep, uh, but my schedule is way too off. I've been going to sleep around like the morning or the very early afternoon. Supply camp? In a place like this? Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot. Set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? <laughs> well, the supply camp also... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was thinking about the fact that, uh, <laughs> that we're Eve and our this helper's name is Adam again. <laughs> it could also mean... This place is very dangerous. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Supply camp. Features more devices than regular camps. You can re use repair to enhance weapons, increase... Rechargeable tumbler count and upgrade your exo spines. I love every one of these words you just said. <laughs> you can craft, upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel to other camps. I'm like, that's great, dude. You said a lot of shit just now, and I kind of liked all of it. Okay. Chat, this is correct. This does have the Final Fantasy 13. Every place has its own brand. Because the other one was different. This one's like Selenium. Next generation choice. Okay, downloading the demo now. <laughs> I feel like you'd fuck with this, particularly because the soundtrack's really good so far. Uh, okay, these these cost way too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's check our skill stuff. 
near as fuck music. I'm I'm getting more of um getting a little bit more of like some of the the 13 Hamauzu stuff than near honestly. This this music doesn't sound sad enough to feel like near esque for me yet. Blink. Uh, let's see. Can be used when an uh, can be used when an enemy is attempting a fatal attack. Dodges and teleports. Be you can nothing personnel them. Okay, so you go up and up and circle when they try to do a grab. Press square to train. Yes, please do. Yeah, fatal attacks or grabs. It looks like. Oh man, we're in the internet metaverse zone here. Select a skill and to train it. Oh, so you can select different skills and be like, can you just load me up? Alright, when an enemy glows. Ah, okay. When her sword glows for it. Sick! Alright, let me get a let me get you doing that again, please. What's up, dude? Hey. Yeah, alright. Sick. Alright, cool. I got it. So long as I have a consistent tell, the tell being my sword tells me when to fuck him up, that's good. Attack power enhancement, we got one of those. Uh, we have one weapon core. Okay, all the visual and menu stuff is like fucking killer. She take the sit. Adam? Yeah? About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll... What voice options does it have? I heard it's got, like, English and Korean. I promise. I'll make sure... I was hearing it doesn't have Japanese, because, you know... Of course not. It's not, it's not Japanese. Again. I I do not begrudge anyone going. I don't want British. Can I get something that isn't that? <laughs> They're like, not everything needs to be Xenoblade. It's got English, Korean, French, German, Italian, and Portuguese. All guys in Japanese, and they do it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you you are making a good point. But also. MiHoYo has truly super infinite money. Though I'm hearing Shift Up is no slosh, given they're DK rulers of, I don't know, big asses. Okay. Look! DK is really fucking profitable. Yeah, I heard they were going public and they're like... Looking at an evaluation that is absurdly high. How's the combat so far? Pretty good. Adam, get back. We got perfect parries. We got we got perfect dodges. We got some stuff. Woo! Oh boy. Okay, I'm nervous now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, we're getting the perfect ones in. Every time I get a perfect uh, thing, one of the yellow diamonds be uh, below the UI goes down. Then I get to do like a crit to them. Yeah! Alright, we got behind them. Their meter below their health is like their shield grade. You break that and then you can like deal more damage. Oh, get the fuck out of whatever that is! Oh, 
Oh god, uh, lightning. Ooh, ow. Oh shit! <laughs> this, this has sauce! Oh, this trap! We have QTEs, game's goaded. Yeah, I guess that's the end of it. You're really good at it. Dude, I'm just beating 18 levels really fast. I can see the space center over there. This is the turret's motion sensor. What do we do now? The drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. Adam, are you listening to me? Something serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Okay. Oh man, this is this game might be a certified cover. Hold up. Little birds. Oh, she has a nice jacket in this one. Look how much better I got at this fight, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot this shit's coming out in less than a month. They're like, hey, you want to buy this shit? No, not yet. What day is your move? Uh, exactly a week from now. Boss challenge. Oh, shit. Here we go. They said a wider variety of skills. Let's check this out. Okay, here we go. We got more stuff. What in the fuck is this? Gmon <laughs> mixing text your ass out of this. Oh, uh, let's see. We, we got some we got some stuff here. We have to like check our skills at all. Here we go. Oh man, they just got the whole, the whole setup. I guess we'll me mess around with it. Rail yard. He's hiding. That thing has a chainsaw. Stalker. Oh god, what's purple? Besides my dog. Ugh! Oh, that felt good. Uh, 
Now let's try some of the other other moves we got here. Oof. Okay, we got like a two slash on that one. I'm getting cooked. Hold up. Oh, mash it out. Yeah, okay, here we go. You can do the specialized uh, fucking critical. We'll do lingering, I guess. Oh, no, yeah, that'll just knock me out. All right, we'll run it back. Yeah, this combat feels very good. Put me back in, buddy. I do like the enemies can be disrupted if you do like uh if you do your your beta attacks. There we go. Did the blink. Ooh. That was a little juicy. Fuck him up! Cut him up. Alright. Okay, those grenades knock him on his ass. There we go. Knocking him back so we have some time to heal. Not, not fast enough. How about one of these? Ah, uh, okay. She slams it, like, directly down. Welcome to the stream, Doctor. Uh, uh. Nope. Ah, oh, shit. We could not disrupt the combo. I, I was thinking we could, like, tank it by using the skill, but it's like, nah, he's locked in. Crowley, can you please be nice to me? Don't make fun of me, I'll come. Alright, we got like three parries off that. I'm getting a little bit better at it. May I get a plus two? 
Sure, plus two. Damn, it's that fucking dash, dude. This feels very good. I'm like, early impressions on this, dude. I'm fucking with this combat quite a bit. We got behind. Keep it going. Ha! I'm gonna be honest here. We need to get her more than one yell line. We're gonna we're gonna need to we're gonna need to be able to afford one more grunt from her that isn't that one. All right, let's run let's run that shit back. Hold up, is there a way for me to change VAs? Let's see if we can like see if we can change change that around. Just I I forgot the most important part, guys. What ponytail length we need? <laughs> this is literally an option in the gameplay section of the game. I think that that's very funny. I was wondering where you'd be able to... Ah, I see. It's here. Okay, let's go, let's go to the main menu. Let's see how... Let's see how the, uh, the original sounds. The original voice track. Dutch in the back. I assume that's Korean. I base it entirely upon it being symbols. I'm like, I can't decipher this on any level. Must be that. Hey, right. let's keep doing it. This is like the only other part of the demo we have. We have so we'll, we'll just run it more. I had to take one year of Korean, that's all I can read. Yeah, her grunts are better. I can immediately identify which one is the really loud English one and, and what, what the original Korean one is. Ah, 
Ah, shit. Didn't hit it in time. Ooh, that is an awful grab. Ugh. Yeah, I guess you have to perfect dodge that to really get out of the way of it. Just don't get command grabbed. I'm trying. Bring me back, coach. Yeah, we got some updated Alto art. Yeah, let's get the easy down with the grenade right from the jump. I'm so not used to yellow being the unblockables. Uh, I did like left instead of up. Wait, you can't skip cutscenes? You can. I know what CEO is. It's one of the one of the bigger ones. Yeah, there's like a skip on the top right. You just hold. This is the last year of Daytona. Oh, that's good. Thank God. Context. Daytona's pretty racist. <laughs> As someone who uh, has lived in Florida, not let's not put FGC events at Daytona Beach. <laughs> like, let's not do that. You must you must uh, divorce Daytona USA from uh, Daytona Beach. <laughs> uh, what happened? It's just the FGC is primarily, you know, there's like a a decent amount of people of color who are like in the FGC and go to events, and uh, Daytona Beach is in Florida. Now, uh, <laughs> pretty deep in. Now, if we use clues, we can solve a mystery that happens for the human experience that would happen at such an event. Even the tournament organizers are like, we hate this shit. But we have, like, contracts in place so we cannot move the event. So I'm sure they... I, I remember there was things that like, yeah, we're kind of fucked on this. So I'm glad that they, you know... They're soon going to be able to get out. They got a year out a year early. That's cool. Good for them. Okay, yeah, there's always like the last the last hit on a grab that I have to watch for. For like a little bit more damage. Oh yeah, once they start one of those, it's just nothing. There we go. We're able to heal and do this. We love the mobile game developers busting out the cool third-person action game shit.
Bada boom! Another clear. Uh, yeah, let me give one more clear of this thing, then we'll rerun the demo now that we have a bit of a better idea on how to play. Again, Daddy, hook me up. Oh, that was cruel. They're like, we're gonna give you the fast rush. Start mashing. Yeah, I, I keep doing the dash way too early. We'll get it on the run back here. You gotta, like, wait for it. You gotta, like, wait once it does the blue proc. You don't react on that. You react on the sword. All right, good start. Got some threes in there. Whoa! That could have been rough. I'm getting way better at this. Ah, oh, my bad. I thought for some reason I hit, I tapped the wrong button for heal. I like how you can like deal good damage to it and start ripping it up, but they can also rip you up a good bit. At first, when they gave me the checkpoints and they felt like a Souls game, I was very concerned. And then they're like, don't worry, we're, we're like normal. We're like a real action game, don't you worry. They're like, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. Again, this breaks through their shield. All right, Casey, you have to dodge those. You need to stop thinking that it's all that that you can block unblockables.
Holy shit! Dude, dude went in for a dive. Alright, hit me up. I like that I've cleared this twice, but I still lose pretty regularly. Okay, the rush into the square is pretty good. Stellar Blade. Yeah, I find every angle of that really boring. I'm here for the game. Man, those, those have some good tracking on them. Okay, we got the down. Oh shit, this move does heal now that I'm actually looking at it. I'd rather talk about the yellow paint. Honestly, yes. Jesus Christ. Those rocks are crazy. There we go. Easy down. Easy clap. Got it. All right. There we go. We got three clears on this uh, on this boss. Let me not fuck up the QG. Is the Gooner mode suit in this demo? Sci Silent uh, not being subtle at all. They're like, <laughs> is, uh, is this in the demo? <laughs> ah, here we go. We're gonna rerun the. We're gonna rerun the demo. Now that we have a decent idea how the game works, that way the stream cannot be uh, under an hour or just above. Uh, yeah, we're on the Korean dub, so we can test that after doing English.
Yeah, this has the yeah, this has European VAs. I was going to try this uh this out because uh I found the battle grunts a bit gen uh a bit too common and generic sounding on the English. They're kind of the same here, but I kind of like the sound a bit better. The Xenoblade buff. It's a buff, all right. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing failure. Physical shield take off. Hatch open. Please, get me out of my goo. Thank you. I love these horrible aliens. Come on, let's get the break. They want me to do the rush real bad. Hold up. Ah, oh, okay, we already did. We're good. I just did it real close range, so I didn't notice. Yeah, this is a PS5 only. Yeah, this is a this is a Sony bankrolled game. Can I 
Quinn's lost soul aside. Eh, eventually. One day. I'm gonna let my dude cook. He can cook for as long as he wants. I've been following Lost Soul Aside's development before FF15 came out. Back when it was only just him making it alone in like his apartment or whatever, using Unreal Engine. And then Sony started giving him money and a team. Ah, oh, my bad. Wasn't even looking at the screen, didn't see the uh, thing that was going to kill me. I think I always get hit by that one. Yeah, it's pretty vis visceral, like the some of the gore and the stuff like that, yeah. Let's get in there. Oof. Up, oh, back up. Oh yeah, we don't have some of our good moves yet either. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. He actually progressed this uh, without just the death progression. Last time, they just knocked our health out to get to this point. Sorry you're going through it, Yuki. Is this near Automata esque? I mean, in terms of aesthetics, it is, but uh, I feel like its gameplay is a little bit more, is a lot deeper than that. There, you can kind of, once you got some good, like, parts on you, you can kind of just, like, coast through that game and just spam dodge and hit. Here, like, you're focusing on doing perfect parries a lot and, uh, building up the energy to do your special moves and, and that kind of thing. From, like, aesthetics and, and stuff like that, of course, it does have that Nier Automata thing, but I think they're vastly, like, different when you're actually, like, playing it. The necktie that she has is very funny. I'm just like, this this is not really fitting with the rest of her fit. I gotta say, I'm also a very big fan of their logo. I think it's real nice. Yeah, that's the cold open to the demo. The demo is incredibly short. It's like, I would say like 45 minutes. It's 45 minutes and then that bonus boss fight you can do. The rest of it is this. We get a, we get a taste of an opening area here. Yeah, this game doesn't seem to be like an RPG compared to what Nier is. And it's more just a straight you action game but it does have fast traveling in it so i don't know the entire scope i haven't looked at a lot of media for this besides trailers they put out I always focus on resting whenever possible. That's what I do. I'm a little bit fried. I've been up since like one-ish. One-ish AM, something like that. I was like, I finally need to get a stream in. I'd like to get a couple of these in here before, before I do the move. Little too drained today to do any more, any more packing or prep at all. Ugh. So chat, digression time. I've been playing some Dragon Quest games uh, recently. Nick had sent me a uh, a GBA uh, that has like a backlight on it and a better battery on it with a set of games and. Uh, there are several cartridges included. Uh, one of them was, in fact, Dragon Quest 1 Plus 2, which was, uh, it's not a GBA SP. It's a modded wide GBA, so it's like the original model, but with a, with a backlight in it. Uh, and, and with it, I decided to jump on the G Game Boy color ports of Dragon Quest 1 and 2, because that is a gap in my video game 
uh, RPG knowledge. Uh, played through uh, Dragon Quest 1 over the course of, like, basically two days. Pretty, pretty alright. Uh, very basic, because it's like, what, you're, it's 1v1s for the entire game. One party member. Uh, against one enemy at a time. You go to various areas. It's nice to see this, because, of course, Final Fantasy was able to get off the ground because there was a console RPG contemporary. Square did not want to do that, because they're like, no, RPGs are for computers. You can't put them on a console. Until Dragon Quest started getting established. Then I played uh, Dragon Quest II, which is an ongoing thing for me. And they added a lot of enhancements. Now, multiple enemies can be fought at once, up to like six. You have three party members. You have status effects. You have like a ship to travel around, kind of like airships and stuff in Final Fantasy or whatever, but they established sea travel and a bunch of stuff like that. And I have to say, Dragon Quest II is now going to hold the crown for least recommendable JRPG I have ever played in my entire life, eclipsing Final Fantasy II. Holy fucking shit. What is wrong with them? Now, to set up this story, I received a reply from someone going, During the development of, of Dragon Quest II... They finished the game, fully development, and they be and they decided to do a test play and found that their game was in fact impossible to complete, and they had to rebalance the game because they made a game that could not be beaten. <laughs> Having played it, I think they should have gone back and tested it a little bit more. <laughs> uh, concept of the game, right? Uh, there's, like, a bad guy. It's a direct sequel to the first one. First one, you're, like, a descendant of Erdrick, or as they call it in Japanese, Loto. And, like, you go in, and you beat the Dragon Lord in that, or the Draco Lord, as I'm playing the rebalanced Game Boy version. Which, by the way, I'm playing the- I'm playing their final mix version on Game Boy. Where they made it- where, the, where they made it better. You defeat the Draco Lord in that, and then, like, this game takes place, like- hundreds of years later or something and it, and you play as the three descendants of the same bloodline that are from different kingdoms and you did, got to defeat the evil Hargon who has taken who's like taken over the world and shit and you go and you collect each party member then it's like okay you have a ship to go travel the world and you need to get these five magical seals and shit to protect you so you can go to the main villains like keep or whatever these games have, like, no story in them. They're just, like, collect a bunch of shit so that you can go where the final boss is and just hit him. It's like, you know, go fight Calamity Ganon, you know? So I've been going through this one. One, the beginning part, wholly ridiculous in what they want you to do in it. In terms of its expectations, is they're like, we have added status effects to this game. I'm like, that's awesome, dude. And they're like, all right. In the first at first uh, two hours, almost every enemy will poison you on hit. And I'm like, that seems pretty fucking bad, dude. <laughs> also, getting the first party member is a game of telephone because you're like, you go to the town where they're supposed to be and they're like, oh, they went off to look for you. And they went to this place first. And then you're just going through a back and forth, like a bunch of areas twice. I usually, uh, watch and you saw you taking donations for the move. Is it too late to donate? It absolutely is not. I'm still going through, uh, the move and everything, so every little bit, uh, has definitely, uh, helped. I'm doing the move, uh, this coming week. So, uh, so long as you're in a position to do it, feel free. There's a button down below, and thank you. I really appreciate any and all support like that. But I go back and forth. I get my second party member. Then I, uh, eventually I get my third, that's Alto, which is a girl that, uh, gets cursed into becoming a dog. Then you go through a dungeon to get a magical, uh, to learn about a mirror, and then you go find the mirror in the middle of the fucking ground, based on context clues, to pull it out and reflect it on the dog. And you can tell the dog was actually a party member, because when you talk to it, it then follows behind you like other party members. It's very cute. You get the party members established. One of them doesn't have any spells on them, but you're, like, your main tank. Then you get a paladin one that is fucking terrible because he's just, he's a hybrid of attacking and ma and magic. And as I've come to learn, just dies constantly. 
Uh, and then you have uh, the gr the girl who actually is uh, significantly better because she uh, gets just better spells. The Prince of... Uh, yeah, yeah, the Prince of Kanak is uh, not great. But but we're working through it. I didn't really notice his deficiencies until late game. But we're going through it. And some dungeons can be a little rough. Let me describe the first dungeon that I found to be a bit of a problem. The Prince of Pain. Yeah. The first dungeon that I found to truly be a problem is a dungeon called the Lighthouse. Uh, the game wants me to get one of the five magical seals to finish up that game. And be able to, like, get the blessings of Rubus or whatever. That'll help me, like, be able to survive the evil villain's ultimate bad, bad illusion magic or some, some stupid shit. Let me pull up an image of what I was looking at when I entered the lighthouse. Here it is. All right. This will maybe illustrate what kind of game I'm playing. Okay, so here is a map of the first floor of the lighthouse dungeon. Now we enter from the bottom middle, and then we're going to go right, and then we're going to go up, and then we're going to skip the first left, then go to the second left, go up, and then we're at the top, and then we're going to wrap around left, down, and then we keep going this until we eventually hit center. And now you may go, there are four staircases there. What does that mean? It means only one of them is correct. Uh, it is the bottom left one. From this point, we will proceed to go up uh, six additional floors to find a little gremlin that says, okay, to get the seal, follow me. And then you go down six floors. <laughs> so really, you're going through like a 13-floor dungeon with random battles with a limited resource mechanic, only for you to go to the chest that has it that ambushes you and attempts to kill you. Uh, usually whenever they do that, the enemy's really weak because they, uh, identify that getting there is already hard. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this became a bit of a problem because, uh, the longer a dungeon goes, the more your resources just kind of just start flatlining. Also, this is a game where if you, uh, if someone dies, it's a Dragon Quest game. Revives are not easy until the very end of the game when you get a revive spell. Uh... So you can't, like, get these people up. And if you wipe, they cut your money in half. <laughs> and, and that part, real bad. Because this the economy of these games, really, really bad. Not great. Not a big fan of that. The fuck is this Pokemon? Dude, Pokemon was very much inspired by Dragon Quest because you play the first game, you go into any cave, every single dungeon in Dragon Quest 1 is Rock Tunnel. <laughs> because you gotta either use a torch to get some light or eventually you'll get Radiant, which will light every area. They got rid of that in 2. where They got rid of that shit because that shit was boring, I guess, to them. Instead, they just have these more intricate dungeons instead. Uh, also, clearly, Mega Ten was also inspired by Dragon Quest, as you'd imagine. Uh, here's one of the rooms I did in the next dungeon, uh, the or a couple of dungeons later, from the lighthouse. Oh, yes. <laughs> as you can see, there are lava tiles in this one. Uh, they damage you. This game has uh, several different types of damage floors. This one... Cannot be be avoided on, on any level. <laughs> like, at all. Most of them you can use a thing that's kind of called Step Guard. It's a spell that makes you so you don't take damage to these. They're like, this is lava, so that wouldn't work. So you take, like, one damage per turn. Except for my, um... Except for my third party member, because I gave her a piece of armor that's water-based. Imagine this on a Game Boy Color screen. Maybe seeing two sets of stairs at once. Yeah, it's not not great it's not ideal i'm using like the strategy i think it's like the strategy wiki website to help me through some of these because some of these maps are just fucking and uh it, it helps make some of this stuff a little bit more manageable by the way that dungeon sucks ass because by the point in that game if you're leveling like a normal person the best spell that you have that is multi-target is fire now I'm not gonna sh I'm gonna shock you here. That shit doesn't work on any of the enemies in there. <laughs> so it's really I'm just using 
I'm just fucking using single target attacks in there. Uh, not, not feeling, not feeling amazing going through that. And, uh, let's see. So that's the sea cave that I was going through at the very beginning of the morning here. But as you play through that game, eventually, you'll, uh, eventually you'll hit the point where you've, like, collected all five seals that you need. You've leveled up a decent bit. You've, you've gotten various other things. You've unlocked a lot of keys. This game has, like, four different key types to open up different things in the world. NPCs give you hints on, like, legends or, like, hints about something that's going on. And a lot of the game sometimes is just, like, the item is on the ground in the overworld. Follow these, these fucking hints to figure out where it is. To find the mirror to get your third party member, you, you have to follow the riddle of... Find the spot where you can see four bridges on the overworld at the same time. And, like, hit a button. It's shit like that. Thank you, Matang. The old story is Satoshi Tajiri saw Ken Sugimori get two rare dropped. Really wish they could trade items. That would inspire Pokemon trade system. It was probably Dragon Quest Two, and Tajiri was desperate for that item. Yeah. God. There's just... That game's got some, got some shit in it. No. Well, I was crunching through it, though. Like, it felt good to get those. Eventually, I hit the point where they're like, okay, you have all the seals, you have all the mystical items, you have the evil idol, or whatever, that's needed to, like, reveal, uh, reveal the cave that'll take you into Rhone. Which is the, basically, it's the region where the evil dude's castle is so that I can finish the game and, uh, and, and it can all end and I can see how this comes together. And I enter this cave. This cave is an affront against God. I'm gonna pull this up. Let's check this shit out. Now. The cave that is the road to Roan is a fucking nightmare. I'm now going to post the image of a map from it. Now, as you can see here. As you can see here. There are a lot of holes here. Now, you may go, oh, just avoid them. This image is not its not what the game looks like normally. That's if someone has fallen through all of those holes and revealed them. Normally, the game's terrain is blank. <laughs> if I did not have this shit up, we would not be finishing this game. <laughs> I need you to know that 90% of those holes lead you to a giant, uh, lead you to the giant room in the right middle. It's not great. It's not great out here. This is like one floor out of like five in there. And sometimes you'll just run into an enemy combo where in the first round, they've killed two party members. It's not great. You sometimes, you just gotta, you gotta be efficient, fast, and, and strong. The enemies were stronger than me. But I cleared it out. I did everything I could. I had like the shield that you can use as an item and it counts as like the, the tier 2 healing spell. There are a lot of uh, pieces of equipment here that actually just do spells on them as and I, if you use them as an item. Very useful. You don't even need to have the shield equipped to use as the heal I've learned. Apparently you just like buy it. And if you have it in your inventory you can just use it. Which is actually pretty good. I might go back and buy one when I'm done grinding. But I do it. I make it through the dungeon and I'm like, okay, all I have to do is make it outside, go to a camp. Granted, one of my party members is dead, but we'll make it. And I make it out of there and you beat the dungeon and in any normal game. You're like, hell yeah, let's ease off. I make it out of this cave and I'm now in the final region. And then in a voice says aloud, not in the game, but metaphorically, they go, drop the cage. And I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like, welcome to a region. We, I will now present to you enemies that are leveled eight levels above what you just did. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> and they have now scaled up past the exit. So I'm desperately running up to get to the last checkpoint that's a little camp up there. And I am one tile away from it and a battle starts. And I'm just screaming, please! And, and I'm hitting run, and it worked. I get inside, and they're like, here's a priest. And every priest in this game goes, all right, I'll revive you for a certain amount of money. And this one said, 
oh, you're here, cool. And then they heal me to full and auto revive. And I go, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, you would never be kind for a good reason. A and he's also like a save point too. Thank you, Afro Blue, for the 100. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a check this. Been watching since 2014. Good luck in the new place. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. You know, platonically is like an audience member. You know what that is. Anyway. The enemies here are so strong. Our second party member, the Prince of Kanak, because they randomize the names based entirely on save and what you put in your name. In this Dragon Quest 2 game. The enemies in this area, because they're seven levels higher than the dungeon you just did that you just came out of and that you can't go backward in this game without it being a pain in the ass. They're just killing most of my party in one round every time consistently. So what I do is I, I have to leave the camp do one battle, try and survive it, go back in, heal, save. And by the way, to save in Dragon Quest 2, you have to press the A button to advance text 15 times! Because this is how it goes. They're like, oh dude, you're truly the, you are truly the bloodline of the Lodo. Awesome. For, for this character to level up, you need this many experience points. For this character to level up, you need this many experience points. For this character to level up, you need this many experience points. Hey, would you like to save your game? Yes. Okay. Where would you like to save it to? Here. They go, okay, the game is saved. Would you like to quit playing? Would you like to continue on? Yes. May the blessings be with you. That is what you see every single time. And now with the context that I have to do this after every random battle, I was going crazy. <laughs> and if you're not paying attention, you mash, you'll accidentally hit A again, and you're just trapped in the fucking dialogue again. And if you try to say no, they're like, are you sure you want to do that? And then you're trapped in the fucking question and answer fucking segment. And sometimes I'll hit no to the continue, and then the game just resets to the fucking title screen loading. Which means I have to go through two additional menus because it's a twin pack. I have to go get in, and then I have to select the game I'm in. This is some fucking 1980s gaming, man. I am so glad I played this. I cannot re recommend it to anyone, but I am very glad I played this. I am also playing this on real hardware, which means I am not using save states. I am not using fast forward. I am not using any cheat abilities this is a real ass cartridge of this game i am playing this as legitimately as you possibly can granted i'm looking up maps for shit but also look at this fucking game do i need to fucking post it again do i do i need to post this fucking map again where these holes are not displayed nor <laughs> this shit is crazy Anyway, according to every and all guides, once you hit this new area, they expect you to level up at least 15 times before you progress. <laughs> I need to let you know, you reach this area at level 20. They want you to basically double your level in one zone. I'm hitting the point where I'm actually able to do multiple fights before saving now. Because I got someone else with a better spread spell. Like the princess can now do a big spread attack. It's really helping us out. It's insane gaming. Alright, Dragon Quest 2 has been pretty fucking rough. That being said, I'm told that that's the only game that's like that. And then 3 immediately becomes sober. Which I'm excited to play. The conceit here is that Dragon Quest has been a bit of a gap for me in terms of games that I know that I know about. Games that I'm experienced in. So I wanted to go into Dragon Quest 8 with more knowledge than just 11, because you guys won that in the Patreon poll. I would like to, in fact, have played Dragon Quest 1 through 3 beforehand. I don't want to be that schmuck that goes, yeah, I'm kind of interested in Dragon Quest. I played, uh, I played the one that came out on the PS4. I'm like, I'll keep going. I, I will, in fact, get some experience in this. I, 
I can now put, I can now say, that is the least recommendable, recommendable JRPG ever. That shit is evil. I thought FF2 was evil. They're like, no, 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 that's, that's mainstream approachable. <laughs> Like, Dragon Quest III was already out by the time Final Fantasy I hit. Also, Dragon Quest I in general, definitely something you I, I would recommend people play at least once. It's not too bad. Uh, but is definitely one of the least replayable RPGs I've ever played. Because there's no equipment variance. There's barely any secrets in it. There's no build stuff, and every fight's a 1v1. So it effectively makes it so it's always going to play the same way. It's like playing, like, it's like a visual novel, but in game form. Also, there's, like, no story in it, so I don't know why I use visual novels. I, I guess if, there, if you have, like, a randomizer, but if you're playing the game normally without, like, extra shit, there's, like, nothing there on, like, a second playthrough. Two definitely makes big strides in pretty much every area and gets so many of the JRPG conventions and creates them, essentially, from scratch on their second go. However, they're evil. And ever since someone told me that, that when they finished development, they actually were ahead of schedule, then tried to play test it and realized their game was impossible to complete, really has empowered every opinion I have on the game currently. <laughs> I'm also really glad that I played a, a sprite-based, like, Game Boy version of it. Because I saw that they there there were, like, Switch versions and iOS versions that use really, really bad art. And I was like, ooh, this is disgusting. This is not great. It's like the Mega Man Battle Network guy skipping his own game in the collection. Even he's like, hey, guys, we're, 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 sh we're just trying to figure this shit out. That was really funny. He was like, I jumped straight to two or whatever. I'm like, are you kidding, dude? You're not supposed to say you do that. That's like if Tetsuya Nomura is like, yeah, we're, yeah well, we're doing a little bit of a... I'm doing a bit of a replay of the Cage games myself since I have a bit of a break. I'm starting with Chain of Memories. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> You what? He's like, I just, I could never win that race against Riku and Monstro is too hard for me. And I'm like, dude, what? Stop that. By the way, Battle Network 1 also similarly fucked up. I like how Battle Network 1 was so bad. I, I barely played any of 2. Like, it took off so much of my mental energy. <laughs> it, was a, it was a mix of that and that game. Those games don't make me feel like I need to save often in them. I keep forgetting they're actual real RPGs and I just keep losing progress. Hold on, let's get back into pairing. There we go. I'm just not used to it, you know? Like, I'm just not used to in a game like that just thinking to save, and it just kept fucking me up. I don't know what it is. Frame was just wired wrong. That being said, I am glad I played Battle Network 1, uh, uh, because the final plot reveals in that made it feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that actually is fucking cool as shit. I can't imagine skipping that. But I'm the I'm the storious king guy, so you know. I prefer to do that.
I, I really like to have contact. Anyway, that's that's been what I've been doing. I've been getting into the Dragon Quest stuff. That way I have a bit of a knowledge for it. That, that and so I can't be the random Andy that jumps in with the fucking Dragon Quest 3 remake that's coming out at some point. Playing through that. I kind of would like to play the original so I could... <clears throat> so I could compare and contrast them. That's something I haven't... I wasn't able to do with uh, Live Alive and I'd like to do it with this. Whenever that comes out. We don't know if that's coming out this year or not. Worth an experience. Yeah, I also have the cart for uh, DQ3. So, I will probably jump on that when I'm done with this one. I was getting really, really fucking angry at the fucking second party member of Dragon Quest 2 whose defense is is miserable and then i keep going alto i leveled it up and his defense went up by one two times in a row third level they're like okay here we'll do something different plus zero and i'm like are you fucking kidding the only way that it makes me okay because it's got it's got fucking randomized growths like it's fucking fire The health still goes up. So I'm like, oh, okay. At least that's helping. At least that's helping. What's up, big guy? Oh, man, he went for a second swing. Shit. Not good. Are we perfect dodged it? Ah, oh, darn. He got me. Second Prince 2 is widely considered absolutely terrible. I can tell because Alto keeps producing different forms of art of them being dead. <laughs> or being made fun of for being dead. Oh, man, we got the gank squad over here. Yellow pop-ups. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to get adjusted. Yellow is unblockable and blue are grabs. I have not played Star Force at all. Oh, yeah, I don't have, like, the grab prevention move. Ah, uh, blink on this, uh, on this run. They don't give it to me until we hit the last, like, save point over there. Oof. Really do need to replay Dragon Quest XI after Octopath. I mean, I mean you might. It's kind of a that's kind of a heavy investment. That game's pretty long. Two B wannabe simulator going. <laughs> this game plays way better than Nier Automata, so I'd have to say fucking put some respect on the name. Platinum Ultra Dead. I don't. I don't even think 
Nier Automata was platinum as best game. I'd, I'd say that was in the... It was in, directly in their mid-range. Enemy variety was pretty miserable in that game. Let's see, how do I... Ah, okay, L3 is rotate. Nier Automata gave you way too many tools to make that game really easy, and there's not a good enemy variety in it, so it's kind of just playing it on cruise control. At the time, even when I played it, I'm like, the gameplay is, like, snappy and smooth enough, but just like the original Nier, it's just a vehicle to play out a story that you're playing. Not, I wouldn't say you necessarily play any of those games for, like, the combat system. Here, this is definitely going for a more action game style thing where it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're playing for the gameplay. Or some some of uh, some other people might be playing this for something else, but you know, not me. I'm here because we did that we did that fucking you beat the demo post uh main game boss fight and I went, oh okay, this has sauce. Okay, yeah, I I need to remember that you pick things up by holding R R2. Wonderful 101 is the rebirth of character action games. This is not a safe space for Wonderful 101 like uh, I'll say that. Uh, you know what? In, my, in, in, in their defense, their port was really bad. Their port was quite bad. I don't know if they fixed it, but the PS4 version of the Wonderful 101, a game I backed, by the way, so you can't get mad at me. Crashed on me several fucking times. It was not great. Like, I was having a pretty miserable experience with that. <laughs> I will say, there's a lot of cool shit in Wonderful 101. I've watched it. Mash a button to protect Earth. Yeah, I watched the, uh... I watched, like, the best friends play it, and then skipped the ones that had, you know, Matt and Liam in them. I'm sorry, the patent woolly combo was way, way better. So when they swapped during it, I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> significantly less gas. <laughs> Pat and Wooly have always been the best combo. That's why they still do Castle Super Beast to this day. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Chip Cheese them also does it does good let's play stuff man I'm really bad at that timing I always I always kind of just like no no tap tap it really fast hands start shaking a little bit I always preferred Liam. He's the one that does zero content now. I will never forgive him for doing like half a fucking limit cut and then not streaming ever again. Unacceptable behavior, frankly. I don't know why Pat and Wooly don't do LPs anymore. They they probably just, um, they do the podcast stuff and, you know, it's probably hard for Pat to carve out time when he wants to do streaming full time. I also was a bit, you know, a bit nonplussed over, like, some of Wooly's 
Wooly's crew, but I actually like Reggie a decent bit by this point. I like tuning into some of their stuff. That I find some people are very weird about everyone that Wooly brings in, in terms of like, they're not the dynamic I want, and they get really fucking rude about it. Nah, nothing could be a better example than that is, uh, than what than the, the way people treat fucking, what was it, Little V or whatever his name is. That dude brought in such great energy, but the but but some of the people in the audience, especially their fucking Reddit, just very fucking shitty to him. So he doesn't want to do content with him anymore. That's why he didn't. That's why the dude didn't return for the like the second Kotor thing. Oh, I do not have the... Pe I didn't even find this on my first run. Huh. Hate the people to ruin the little beast streams. Yeah, the, uh, some people are just really annoying about it. That's why when, uh, when people started talking about my group in the Two Best Friends subreddit recently over a Pat thing, a Pat tweet that I had made, I was a little concerned, and then some people were very nice in there, very cool. Very respectful, very nice toward me and the people. And one of them said, one of them said Jordan. What happened? Uh, Willie used to do Let's Plays and stuff with Little V. He's that dude who does, like, rock guitar covers. But that Two Best Friends subreddit and some other people were just really fucking vicious toward that guy. To the degree where that dude went, I started getting depressed. I just will not do content with Wooly anymore. I'll hang out with him all the time, but I will not be on content with him. Those guys got way too comfortable with what that group used to be. And then got really mad about who they chose to do other shit with. That guy did Kenny Omega's theme song. Yeah, that dude, that dude shreds. I guess I technically listen to him regularly because I fucking, uh, I watch Max and he did Max's intro. Oh shit, you're alive. Hello. Hello, Mario. I was, I was listening to, there's like a, a Castle Super Beast video, I guess, on X-Men 97. And, uh, and Wooly's like, Immediately he goes, fantastic first episode, no notes. And then Pat said, I have some notes. And my and I I put my arms up instinctively going, this motherfucker's gonna shoot Cyclops. I need to protect Cyclops right now. Don't hurt Scott Summers. And he immediately starts talking about Cyclops, but in a positive way, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I knew where this shit was going as a viewer of them for the longest time. Like, I know you. You can't fucking resist this shit. Some of Max's predictions part through or something. We will not be talking about that as people haven't finished yet. No spoilers. I'm like, you can't fool me. I'm familiar with your game. It, it's like if there's a conversation about Superman happening. And I'm like, okay, calm down, Pat. We're talking about X-Men now because the shit uh, that's going on in the cartoon is like 40 years old in comic continuity. Yeah, they're just like adapting various comic storylines. But it's really good and very, uh, very well put together. The adaptation's pretty tough. And I think they've, they've handled it like pretty well. Oops, I slipped. I, uh, oh yeah, I also binged across two days all four seasons of X-Men Evolution because I was on the Disney Plus app waiting for the next 97 episodes, so I just watched all of that. That's probably my favorite piece of X-Men media. I like it quite a bit. I watched it when it was airing, but I missed some parts. Here I had the chance to uh, watch uh, literally all of it. Izzy just needed the rogue design. She's quite good in that, but overall... Really enjoy all angles of that of, of that show. I actually didn't know it actually it got canceled. 
which is unfortunate. But given how the last episode uh, went, I'm guessing they, they had a hint that they weren't getting a fifth one. Because they kind of just go, uh, and here's some other shit that, that will happen that you won't see. Which rogue do you prefer? Uh, Evolution. I, I like her. I like her design in that way better. I did see the Crisis of Faith. I, I posted like a... I posted the thumbnail of them saying that and then I tweeted, uh, Evolution's the correct answer. Just so we're all aware. Yeah, the last episode teaser just showing here are things that happen and also like says, yeah, Dark Phoenix would have happened and stuff like that. I was like, I can't believe you made me want that. I like those shows quite a bit, because unlike the uh, live-action films, Wolverine's not nearly as important. Also, the end of X-Men Evolution has a final battle setup that is essentially like, okay, if you were going to end here, you kind of went big. As much as I'm like, I don't know if I necessarily needed the final antagonist of the show to essentially be Apocalypse, personally. But, you know, it's whatever. But when they, when they, when, when he said to me, my four horsemen, I went, oh, okay. All right, we're good then. We're good. All right, this, this, this finale's got some gas to it. Before that, I wasn't trusting the plan. All right, uh, let's let's back out to the main menu here, and we'll do uh, we'll do one more. We'll do another run of the the post demo boss, and then we might have to get out of here because there's not much else we can do on this. Let's do boss challenge. The thing I remember the most is the white girl dancing. Yeah, they sh they sh they have them. Uh, yeah, they have the two girls do the dance from fucking Buffy in that. <laughs> Very funny. Not a comic expert. He's like a mutant from ancient Egypt that gets awakened. There's like some weird shit going in there. Yeah, the conceit is that they're both dancing because Rogue fucking uh, touches Kitty and then steals all of her dancing skills. Oh, shit. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm looking pretty good. And then they're like, unblockable. I'm like, ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, you have to be ready on the pink one. Ah, shit. Video games getting some sort of, like, comic book character, it, it, it literally has to be, like, a new movie product or something like that, or else they don't give a shit. It's never been more transparent than that Batman game, fucking Gotham Knights coming out, and they're like, our raid has Starro in it. Why'd you choose that? Because it was in a Suicide Squad movie this year, and I'm like, oh, okay. All right, man. <laughs>
Are the blades stout? They're pretty stellar, I think. I feel like their title is correct. So, so many of uh, Injustice's films were Flash films because of the CW. I did not know that. I don't really engage with the Injustice stuff at all. Because I find evil Superman to be very big. Blink. Sorry, buddy. Oh, fuck. Okay, we we perfect dodge that neat. Alright, we'll get the grenade to get get the free down. There we go. Shatter shatter his armor. Oh, shit. Yeah, the chainsaw through the middle. A pretty good design, boss-wise. Oh, you can parry those, me. Alright. We broke all the yellow diamonds so we get the free crit. That could have been bad. Is it, uh, this is like character action style. It's got some like Dark Souls like checkpoint stuff, and there's like posture and stuff, but it, it plays like a plays like an action. Season one of Flash is legit good. Yeah, I heard there's some those stuff. Those things were all right until they weren't. Anyway, that's uh, that's the Stellar Blade demo. We've done that boss several times, and we did like one and a half playthroughs of the main content of that. I might be playing this when it comes out. We'll see. We'll see if I'm a bit more liquid in terms of funds at the time, because I imagine it's going to be seventy dollars, because it's a PS5 game. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing. No, hold on. We can find out. We can find out. Let's let's see what the purchase button does. Yeah, it's seventy dollars with an eighty dollar version. Additional in-game currency and skill points. Got cosmetics and shit. Digital deluxe. The goon the Gooner Plus pack. Yeah, game's real good. Real good. It is, it is more than just a vehicle for big, big ass. Buying because I'm a gooner for women. That's great. Uh, that's going to do it for the stream for today. Sorry that's real short, but uh, I've been up for like 13, 14 hours anyway. But I hope people enjoyed. It was happy to, I was happy to check in with you guys. I'll try and get a couple more streams in before the move. But uh, definitely working on cleaning and, and, and getting things ready because I am moving uh this next Friday but thanks for hanging out with me today guys uh let's get ourselves out of here I'll try to get this VOD and the previous VOD up as soon as I can but thank you to the following uh subs and resubs thank you to Afro Blue Matang and the person who donated right before the stream started Pikes Peak Audio thank you all for the donations I really appreciate it have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon.